damn exciting game you had there. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, you know, I thought uh, our kids came out and played well. Uh, you know, obviously you got the number one team in the state coming in, and you know our kids were up for it and excited. And uh, you know, I thought uh, you know we we took them blow for blow, and and they gave our best shot. You know, we were just one possession away there early in the game, and you know, and before any of those overtimes until the last one, you know, it could have been we were one possession away from us winning this game. So. Um, 34 points by one individual. Is that? So I should read something into that, perhaps. Or? Uh, well, he's averaging 25. He's a, you know, he's a junior. He's now he's, uh, you know, has 934 points on the, you know, his career already as a sophomore, as a junior. You know, so he's about ready to get a thousand points. You know, he's pretty good. Obviously, he showed that tonight. He's gotten 38 and 33 against Coldwater. He's a great defensive team, and he got 34, whatever today against. Obviously, the number one team in the state. They know that they have to key on him, and that he's able to get 34. I think that kind of tells the kind of player. Did you have any special teams in play tonight for him? Uh, just try to get him the ball as much as we can, and, and uh, you know, we, we don't run a whole lot of sets you can see, and uh, you know, he just knows that uh, you know has to move to get the ball. Our kids know they have to get him the ball, and, and uh, he's able to score. Uh, what about the rest of the season? You guys are so tough. What's that? You guys look so tough tonight. What's the rest of the season look like? Well, um, you know, it's obviously a big step for us to play against them, and you know, we got to make sure we continue going on. I mean, playing in our conference, there's no easy games any Friday nights, and you know, Saturday nights, you know, tomorrow we come back with you know, Greenville, who's obviously no slouch in the Division One school, and you know, we're D4, so you know, our kids will have to come ready to play tomorrow against you know another good team. So. You know, for us, it's just, you know, every game we got to come ready to play, and, you know, we have a battle every night, and, you know, that's what we want to get a good work for them. Thanks. Okay, good. Valley Sports. Okay. Tell me about the game. You guys are tough. That was triple overtime for... It's a tough ball game, and, you know, every game in the back when you're on the road is a very, very tough thing, game. Uh, I thought uh, Fort Recovery came out and had a lot better feet than what we did. They they were quicker than we were. Uh, we knew that Colic was going to score a lot of points. 34 there. Yeah, and, but uh, we didn't want the other guys to hurt us. In the first half, the other guys hurt us. And uh, we had a lot of good looks at, at the end of the game, but they just didn't drop. Uh, I give credit to Fort Recovery. They did an outstanding job. Well coached. Their kids played their hearts out. It was a great game for everybody here to watch.